Hey y'all, it's Mr. Daniels here. We are getting ready to start week seven. And as a quick recap, let's talk about what we did last week. All right, last week we started talking about the Mission Presidio system. Okay, uh, we, we spoke about the goals of the missions, right? Uh, that Spain is, is trying to colonize and control Texas, convert Native Americans, and keep the French out. All right, we, we discussed, you guys filled in a graphic organizer on the different missions that we found. We know that the missions that started out in East Texas uh, was really sort of to try and deter France from coming in. Um, they weren't very successful. We discussed where the missions were successful, and that was out around the San Antonio area, along the San Antonio River. And you guys finally finished the week with uh, journal entries, right? Kind of used the reference of Diary of a Wimpy Kid and uh, to kind of give you guys an idea on what we're supposed to do. And you were picking from three different perspectives to write from either as a Native American, um, a Presidio soldier or a mission priest. This week, we're gonna continue talking about the mission Presidio system, except we're going to really focus on life in the missions, all right? What was it like? And we kind of touched on that a little bit last week but we're really gonna start looking at that in more detail this week. We'll start by looking at a series of visuals and we'll analyze them to see if we can understand what's going on based on our understanding of life in the missions and in the Presidios from a Native American's perspective or from a mission priest or even from the, the Presidio soldier. You will have a couple of worksheets. Obviously, we'll have some assignments that follow, some DOLs. We're gonna watch a couple of videos that illustrate life in the Spanish missions as well. And then I'm gonna teach you guys how to do Cornell notes based on those videos. And you will turn in those video notes for a grade. And then we'll culminate or finish the week with a Google slide presentation, very similar to what you guys have done before with our Google slides, except this time it's going to focus on the cultural influence of Spain and colonial Texas that is still felt today. In other words, looking at the Spanish influence in Texas today. All right, and we'll go over that. It'll be a project, but that kind of rounds out what our goals are for this week and what we discussed last week. I'm gonna just transition to this one video. So for those who are still watching, um, you will just expect to get one video and I will do the closing basically and review what we did the week before at the start like I did for this and then I will preview what's upcoming for this week. Um, you guys know that we just finished the first six weeks so kind of I'm kind of segueing away from the opening closing. And I'll take a minute here to just talk about grades but we just finished the first six weeks and I had a lot of students that did not pass my class the first six weeks. I talked to all of you in class last week I think at least twice and said, if you fail my class or any other class in the first six weeks, that it will be recoverable, but that you're not gonna be able to, you can't fail another six weeks. So what I'm telling all of you is if you failed my class or any other classes in the first six weeks, your job is to pass the second and the third six weeks with at least a 75 or better, all right? or whatever it is that you're striving for. But if you have questions on that, you need to come and talk to me, but there's no more room for failure. So if it applies to you, pick it up and run with it. If it doesn't, then in one ear and out the other. All right, that's all I got on grades. You guys have a, a great rest of the week upcoming and I'll see you guys on Monday. Daniels out.